All right, welcome back. We got May 31st and a very happy Memorial Day to you and everyone you know. I, uh, yeah, very thankful for men and women who have served and serve our country. Very thankful for the freedoms that we get, you know, because they, you know, take some sacrifices. So thank, thank you for that. But, um, yeah, it's uh, great to uh, get out here in the bay. I'm not going to try too much today because we had a ton of rain. The runoff's probably pretty bad. I'm thinking the water's cloudy, which it looks like it. And it cooled off a bit because of the weather, so I don't want to like spend too much time trying to find fish because, you know, we had a pretty serious uh, weather system come in. So I'm going to try shallow back bay areas. Let's get right to it. Channel markers underwater. <laughs> so I don't have much underwater footage on this trip, but I do have a little bit. And as you can see, there was a fluke or two uh, captured on the footage. And yeah, I was a bit surprised to see some fluke here. I tried for fluke for about the first hour uh, with no results. I tried some numerous baits, some gulp, and yeah, you know, I cut it all out, but I eventually started talking about how it looked like it was going to turn into a striped bass mission. And yes, the water was very cloudy as I expected. And here you're seeing I'm trying the white color and yeah, the white color does show up as well. But I think the chartreuse actually shows up a little better. Uh, but the fluke went after both colors on this day. Here's a bass getting close to it, but not really taking it. It is interesting just how close, though, he uh, comes to follow this thing. His nose is pretty much on that tail. All right. Switching tactics to go for a big bass. This is a much bigger swim shed. This is my heavier setup. And I'm using the natural forage color because that's what was absolutely crushing it in the past couple weeks. Smear some uh, Procure. It's a Manhattan scent bunker, aka bunker. I'm marking. Things look good, so let's see. Let him swim a bit. Make sure I get out of the channel. <clears throat> I hate dealing with these things. But I want to get a measurement for the, f for the first one. There you go. 
up, guys. It's about 20. Maybe like 21. And there goes my uh, my favorite bait. Look at those chompers. Chomping down. I don't like bluefish, you know, it's just never easy handling them. But that was fun. It's kind of cool you took that took that on like the fast reverse jig, which I like doing sometimes. And if I if I mark a school, I'll do that right over top of school. So I think this uh colder it's colder water drop has caused the bass to kind of go a little deeper. Because I'm marking them, but they're not taking it. I think it's similar to what happened before. Just need to get it closer to their head. Water's murky too, so no, they're not gonna they're not gonna see it from very far. Something thumped it. Baby striper. Baby striper. Just definitely hugging the bottom. Weird. It's gotta be that uh, temperature drop. There we go. Bites on. Baby striper. I really, I really tried not to use those swim sheds, but they just they just outperform. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I just been trying all these other things. Just to see if I can get like a bigger one or a different bite. A little swim sheds. Alright. These are the uh, even smaller ones. I believe this is the quarter. This is the quarter ounce. I was hoping to get some more underwater. This water is just too cloudy. I don't think much of it's coming out. So I guess I'll just... Uh, you know, have some fun with these stripers and maybe hope for, uh, for something else to come by. So I'm gonna put this away. It's a very small something. All right, but
Icy white. Oh man, I would just love it for a big one. You just, you know, spool me. I feel like I could still bring a big one in because like, you can chase them down with the kayak. Something that's like not as easy to do from shore. You know, in a boat you could, you could, but sometimes you can't maneuver it as fast enough. The kayak is just such maneuverability. You should be able to hunt, you know, track it down. So what, what I'm noticing is these fish are holding in like these different eddies and, and there's a lot of current coming out of this uh, bridge. And as it's coming out, it kind of like swirls here and there. You see here, you've got some different moving water over there. It's like slick. Yeah, I think they kind of like swim in and around these different currents looking for, for little bait fish that, you know, are struggling in the current that they can pick off. It's really, it's like they're not holding structure, but they're like holding currents. They hold like different rips. That's what I'm noticing. Here's a rip right here. You can see it. I bet you, I don't know exactly like where in that he is, but that's when I start noticing the marks. And I start seeing those kinds of swirls and stuff. Look at these marks. Bugs are horrendous though. Hmm. So strange. Just like stop feeding. There we go. Definitely one of the bigger ones of the day. looking for it. Oh. How big is this fish? Oh. Good, good size, he's not huge, but he's good. He's a good bass. Right, I got you, bud. Gotcha. Oh, it's 
This is a nice fish. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. He's about 25 and a half. Definitely my biggest fish on that rod. That's a nice fish. Hope his gill is coming okay. And that was not me. <clears throat> Alright, bud. I hope you do better. fish all right now the trip was worth it for that that was fun the hook was perfectly in his mouth too right in the top you know wasn't coming out 10 pound leader didn't chafe that was cool just when i thought too that they were like shutting off it was weird try for just a little bit more side of the current they're an interesting interesting fish I think they're very cool That's it for today and once again a happy memorial day to everybody uh, i hope you're enjoying yourselves and you can take some time to appreciate what others have done for us and uh, you know the sacrifices that have been made by others for us to enjoy freedoms freedoms such as this and uh, you know just take us Take a step back and look at just how beautiful it could be where you are. I don't, I don't know where you are exactly, but I mean, this is just, uh, this is just gorgeous, and it really isn't possible, um, you know, without some of the sacrifices. So, thank you again, and uh, yeah, May was a really good month. This is it, and you know, striper, nice size striper right there at the end with this light tackle was fun. Bluefish is here. Pretty much all species have made a better appearance this year than last, I think, except for fluke. There's just not a lot around right now, but you know that's all right. There's a lot of other things to be, you know, thankful for that are here, and they're fun to catch. So, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got to say. Thanks again for listening and watching. If you enjoyed. Stay tuned for June.